not only is it almost done, but Jean-Paul Viguet is here, our design architect, Lynn Bose Trancal, who is our project architect, and of course in the middle, Chris Carson, principal of Ford Powell and Carson, that's our associate architect. And this project began with, as I say, uh, us selecting Jean-Paul six years ago, and uh, light has been the main theme since we began in terms of what is, I think, unique about this building. There is no competition in between uh, the building and the work of arts. The most important is, uh, is the exhibition itself, not the building. Uh, the walls that, that you see are completely removable parti partition. We can't take them away as, as, as we want. If the museum wants it, uh, we can have one single space from, from, the, from the entrance hall to the end, which makes a huge uh, space for any type of exhibition. I was impressed by the, uh, the quality of the house next to it. And so adding a, a piece of architecture next to this house was not easy. It was putting a new piece of architecture next to a uh, beautiful building. So when you do that, you have to do it with no compromise, including the technology which I've used for particularly dealing with the light. I've used light as a, a way to build this museum. It's like a material. It creates the ambience and you prevent the direct light from reaching the inside of the museum. The uh, translucent glass, it has to diffuse the light to equalize the light. Motorized shades, these two shades are used to adjust the light. Jean-Paul kept the profile of the building very low and there's two stories to it, so we're built into the slope of the hill to preserve that low roof line so it would never overpower Mrs. McVeigh's original home. And this was for me uh, quite a challenge. The, uh, this to design an architecture of the 21st century, but which belongs to this region. We worked, as you can see it, with colors. That's why we use the bronze, for instance, for the metal. That's why we use this type of stone, which is green and goes with the landscape. And so this will be where we do lectures and films from now on, primarily. And so those will no longer take place in the Leaper Auditorium, which we'll use more heavily then for events and also still for musical programs. The, the temptation is, is that architecture could be stronger than the work of arts exhibited. So it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a work that requires a lot of modesty since uh, the most important is, is the work of art and not building. Mm -hmm.